Hey, it's awesome. I just wanted to give a quick review of this servo. You can see that that's some kind of Chinese cover or whatever. Well, basically this guy just sent that in about last week. And here's the exhaust housing for it. It's a .63. And you can kind of tell it's a little fake looking. Well, basically, somebody sent that in, and it had this center section, which takes journal bearings. So it wasn't even a ball bearing turbo, but it was like a counterfeit one. And then they shortened the shaft, and it had a TO4 or TO4E bearings, but it had a thrust bearing for like a T25 so it's pretty much garbage so what I did was I just went and bought a ball bearing center section for it which I sell for 550 and replaced it so technically you could buy these things for I don't know $300 or something new whatever they are and then you could buy a ball bearing center section and just replace it and have you a GT35R that's actually reliable and a true dual ball bearing. Now I wanted to show you what a ball bearing turbo also looks like on the inside. So this is actually a 30R. You can see how much bigger it is on the inside where this bearing piece just slides right in. And then at the top there's a dowel pin slash restrictor thing that goes down in there that holds this cage in there. And then you'll press the shaft, you'll press the shaft down in here to connect inside here. And it hugs on these pieces and it has the roller bearings and or the little balls inside of it that is like a ball bearing. So it's dual ball bearing. And uh, I can get all these parts to sell and if people are interested and I've had some people interested in 30Rs and stuff like that so I'm going to look into that. 35R I just bought as a cartridge which is really easy just to change out the cartridge. All you have to do is take this C-clip right here, take that out and remove this piece. You wouldn't even really have to take the whole backing plate out if you didn't want to. But for this piece, or this turbo, it's just as simple as taking that C-clip out, out of here and then pulling the whole center section out and then sliding the new one in. And there's actually a seal. There's a seal that sits right on, right on here, a rubber O-ring. So you just make sure that that's in there. And then there's not a seal in here, but for this cheap one, you might want to put some RTV gasket or something there because it actually had a lot more play than the normal one. It felt like it could slide around a little bit, but it wasn't something too crazy, so um, I was willing to swap out the cartridge for it. So overall, the turbo from you know this Chinese company I mean it, it's not really good but you can make it good you can make it into a real 35R and actually have something for pretty cheap so it might be worth an investment to do that but we're hoping to sell 35Rs pretty soon that actually are genuine so they'll actually look real and not be fake. <laughs> so I just want to give a quick review on that.